Welcome everybody, welcome back to LZTWF Repair Bench. Uh, here I have a uh, pet, Commodore Pet 2001N motherboard uh, to be repaired. Uh, and this is a um, 4032, a pet 4032 with a uh, basic for update in EEPROM sometimes in its life or since the beginning I don't know uh, this is a 1979 uh, machine and um, the owner uh, sent me a garbage screen image and I did power it, it up uh, briefly and I verified uh, uh, the voltages on the on the RAMs and there is uh, the plus 12 missing so I powered off immediately uh, because uh, these RAMs need uh, uh, three power rails to work correctly and actually the minus 5 is the most important because if it's missing uh, the, the chips uh, are more likely damaged instantly so I verified uh, on the plus 12 line and there is a, a short to ground which could be probably one of these uh, capacitors and, and I will try to remove uh, the plus 12 capacitor and see if it's shorted indeed um, capacitors on the 12 volt line are C43 and C41 and indeed this is the old C43 um, it has 0.15 ohms so it's a good short let's hope nothing else uh, went to bed because of this I will replace the capacitor and then try again so I installed the new capacitor and we not uh, not only have back the 12 volts rail to the rams but the machine seems fine so far uh, so it was uh, obviously the ram not working by because of the missing 12 volt rail but as i said the missing 12 volt rail is not uh, lethal for this kind of rams uh, missing the minus 5 is uh, uh, much more dangerous and uh, probably they die instantly without the minus 5 so now um, with uh, hook up a keyboard um, some peripherals uh, tape uh, and try if uh, the system is uh, working well so, uh, as the final test as always I check uh, um, if everything works connect to the keyboard and uh, I had to clean every edge connector uh, because there were there were too much oxidation on uh, every connector and prevented uh, the devices to work uh, correctly. But uh, now I've tested both the tape uh, ports. This is tape two on uh, this board, and the uh, I interface and the user port uh, where I connected my uh, parallel cable uh, to uh, transfer cross with uh, CBM link and I usually use the space invaders uh, game as a test transfer and as you can see it's running fine now this uh, short repair shows the extreme importance of correct uh, uh, checklist when troubleshooting uh, a board like this uh, on dynamic ram pads it's essential as a first step to test uh, the various uh, um, rails and uh, of course it uh, it's better if you check diodes and uh, uh, every uh, capacitor uh, mm, for shorts uh, but the owner of this board uh, um, 
uh, told me that he powered the board and uh, uh, sent me pictures of the garbage screen so uh, I thought uh, if there was a shorter tantalum it would have smoked on the first place but uh, um, the 7812 regulator uh, was going uh, in a current limit uh, so the, the capacitor didn't smoke and when I uh, check at the missing 12 volts uh, first suspected the, the capacitor so this was uh, this board had no uh, almost nothing uh, no electronic problems it's uh, running on the original components uh, with a nice uh, 6522 in ceramic case uh, but uh, the, the power supply is always the first thing on uh, every repair so don't forget that hope you enjoyed this repair and thank you for watching